uh, to do some analysis on the retail sales data. So what I'm going to do now is move on to the actual construction side. So I want to give you a sense of what does it actually take to, to build out a dashboard that provides these kinds of capabilities. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go to an empty presentation here or an empty dashboard. And in this case, I'm going to actually build my dashboard off of Excel data. I have three tabs of data. I have point of sale data, I have product data, and I have inventory data. And I'm going to pull that data in and I'm going to match that data up and allow the user to basically provide this kind of business discovery capability. Now, with input view, that data does not necessarily need to be in the same database. So I could have put the data in and pulled the data from a mix of data sources. So some of that data may have come from Excel, some may come from SQL, some of it may come from Oracle, uh, and essentially from a quick view perspective, all of that data is going to get merged internally in quick view, and I'm going to be able to build it as if it was in one solid platform or one consistent platform. So one of the great benefits of quick view is being able to go across those heterogeneous uh, data sources and use all of that data in a single dashboard. So I'm going to start off, I need to build at my load script. So I click on my edit script button. So load script essentially is where I start building out uh, how I pull the data from my different data sources. And this could be ODBC or DB sources, uh, web services, uh, local table, local files like Excel or CSVs. So uh, a plethora of choices in terms of data source uh, within ClickView. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on building out our demo now. Uh, so I'm going to click on table files. So I've got my Excel data and I'm going to pull in my product table. And I'm going to go back and pull the same data again. And this time I'm going to use the media data tab. I'm going to pull that in. And once more I will go back there and I will pull in my point of sale data. And at this point now I've got my load script and you can see basically it's doing a load of the particular fields in those files. I'm going to go ahead and click on reload which is going to basically go out, read that data and extract it and pull it into ClickView. And at this point I've now got the data all merged together. The way that the data is associated is by movie which is the common field across those three files. ClickView does that by common naming convention. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by building out my filters list. So I have a list of filters. I'm going to start with movies, master chain and chain. So simply click on those and say OK, and I'm just going to reorganize those a little bit just to make it easier to read here. Oops, sorry, make some selections there, so I'm just going to go ahead and clear my selections. All right, so I've got my, uh, my first three filters. Now what I want to do is create my chart, uh, which was my top five retailers, so it's a bar chart. I want to look at it by the master chain. And the expression or the calculation field here, I'm going to say I want to sum the sales data and you can see it's very much a wizard kind of approach so I can just simply click on boxes and in this case I want to see the values on the data points so I want to see the number plotted on the top of the bar so I simply click on the value on data points checkbox and I'm going to sort it by the y value because I want it in descending order for my highest sales and I want to see it as a pipe chart a 3D pipe chart and I want to see the top five so I simply say just limit it to the first five uh, and because it's sorted. And just scroll through that one. I want it multicolored, so each bar will be a different color. And I want to see my numbers as dollars, but I don't want to see the cents there, so I'm going to swipe out that. So using very much the Excel like uh, formatting function. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Finish. And so there you can see I have my chart, which is showing me my top set retails, as you saw before. So the next thing I want to do is I want to pull my pie chart, and this is going to show me my breakdown by media type, and this is going to be looking at the inventory. So again, go ahead and click on the sum, and this is the unit shift. Click OK. And again here, I want to say I want to look at the value on data points. What I also want to do is I want to see not the actual raw numbers, which is what I see if I just left this as it was, but the relative contribution. So what percentage of the pie does that represent? So simply click on that relative bar. Don't need any sorting in this case. Uh, I'm just going to make a 3D pie. And I want to see the numbers on the legend. Um, so I can see rather than having to read it onto the chart. And I'm going to just go ahead and format the numbers here to say these are going to be integer values because I don't really care about the decimal place for my percentages. And there's my 
pie chart now with my percentage price now. So the next thing I need to do is I need to create my table, which is actually also a type of chart. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And in my table, I want to see my master chain, my chain, my movie. And those are my dimensions, if you will. Now I go into my expressions or measures. I'm going to say I want to see the sum of the sales. Take that. Say OK. Now in this case, I actually wanted to see three expressions. So I'm going to click on the Add button. Now what I can also do, as well as using the wizard once I get used to things, is I can use uh, just type in the data, and you can see I get the IntelliSense capability. So I can actually just kind of type ahead. And the last thing I want to do here is I want to add another expression. And this is going to be my average price, which is simply sum of sales divided by the sum of the units. So a typical kind of calculation is very similar to what you would use in Excel. So that's going to be my values there. And I'm going to go ahead and just click through here. And all I want to do here is just change the, uh, the formatting of the numbers. So I just get to the number tab. And I'm going to say I want to see that as money, the units sold as integers, and the average price also as money, and click on Finish. So there's my table there. To resize this, I simply go to the edge of my columns, double click like I would in Excel, to resize out to the widest piece of data that I have. And I need to expand my table out a little bit here. Um, so there's my detail table. And the last couple of things I need to add in with the uh, search control. So I'm going to go ahead and click on, yes, I want a search object. It wants to search all the metadata. So I'm just going to basically take my default there, move that over to the right here. And finally, we want to put in our current selections box. And again, I'm just taking the default. So essentially, I'll see all selections made. And that's my dashboard. So you can see in just uh, a little over five minutes there, uh, basically built out the dashboard um, from raw data to the end product. So very quick and easy, uh, very much wizard driven, very much kind of setting properties, uh, no scripting, no advanced programming. Uh, so essentially I can put together a dashboard in very rapid fashion that's going to provide the value to the end user to provide all those business discovery capabilities. So just to show you that there's no smoke and mirrors here, if I click on Best Buy, you can see that automatically ClickView has associated Best Buy to those retailers. If I click on one particular movie, it's associated to all the master chain. So it is through that common naming convention said, I know how to associate all my data, and as you make selections, I don't have to build out a whole bunch of where clauses or parameters uh, to make all of this work. It's all done for me. Um, so essentially, you know, again, I can double click on the unit. So essentially, the, the dashboard I demoed to you at the beginning of this session is exactly what I just built uh, in this construction in five minutes. And all of those capabilities being able to search. So again, if I go over here, just put in family. You can see it goes and finds family in that genre. Um, so fully functional within sort of five minutes of the development. So I hope you found this session helpful, and uh, I wish you a good day.